What's up everybody? Today's lesson of the week is how to take off perfectly every single time in the surf. Let's jump into it. The takeoff is a crucial part of surfing, but it's something that a lot of people don't do well. In today's lesson, we're going to go over it in detail. Alrighty, so taking off, there's a little bit of technique to it, let's work it out, come over here. This is our makeshift surfboard for the day, it's a little bit of a square surfboard. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to paddle really hard for the wave. When we get up, what we really have to focus on is keeping our hands here. It's almost like doing a strict push-up. Okay, and this is where a lot of people uh, prescribe burpees for actually practicing the takeoff in surfing. So if we do this, once we've caught the wave, we do this and we actually pop up into the surfing position, that's going to be the ideal way to take off. However, there is one variation which is more suitable for beginner surfers. So let's talk about that one. So we're paddling in, we've caught the wave, we press here. Now the difference here is we keep our back foot down and our back knee down, bringing this leg through. Okay, this allows us a bit of a intermediary stage between lying down and actually standing up. So once we've brought that leg through, we then slowly get up. That's gonna be the best way, one of those two ways, to start taking off perfectly every time. I was just putting together this video and I realized that I'd missed a crucial point about taking off and that is body positioning where you are on the board. So I've got my surfboard here. If you are too far forward, and we spoke about this in how to rip one, how to surf like a pro in 25 minutes. Uh, if you are too far forward, for instance, the board is up here, you are going to find that you are going to nosedive when you catch the wave. That's when the board goes under the water. If you are too far back, so something like this, and the board is sticking up out of the water when you're paddling, it's also gonna be really tricky to take off on the wave because it's gonna be really hard to catch. Something else to note is actually where you position yourself in relation to the wave. We spoke about this in How to Rip One as well. Being just beneath, the, just to the side of the curl of the wave, if you will, or the breaking part of the wave is actually gonna be much easier to take off than in the white water. Now, this is almost paradoxical because beginner surfers start in the white water. If you find any sort of advanced surfer, you'll find that they typically try to avoid taking off with any sort of white water going on behind them because it's just so tricky to do. So positioning yourself in relation to the wave in a place where you can paddle in nice and easy, pick up a lot of speed, is gonna be advantageous to you taking off perfectly every single time. thanks for tuning in legends make sure you subscribe like and share this video and comment below letting us know what else you'd like to see on the channel guys we're excited you're here see you later